Hi, uh, my name is Mitsuho Ikeda, professor, for the, professor of the Center for the Study of Core Design, CSCD, Osaka University, Japan. My presentation title is Stealing Remain is Criminal, Ethical, Legal, and the Social Issues of the Repatriation of Human Remains to Ryukyu Islands, Southern Japan. My presentation will be uh, have uh, four sections. One, introduction. Two, Dukian story of bonds. Three, quest for the harmony between plaintiff and the defendant. Four, conclusion. Introduction. I will discuss the ethical, legal, and the social implications, everything, of the debates on the repatriation of Ryukyuan Okinawan human remains, the debates between indigenous people with lawyers and the civil activists, so-called plaintiff, who requested the repatriation, and the national university that stores human remains as defendant, which should negotiate formally with indigenous people, came to deadlock over 10 years. The plaintiff wanted to establish the collective entitlement indigenous right to repatriation of remains and objects that have not been enacted. The defendant rejected repatriation claim to them by defending in legal conformity with the person who custom dictate shall preside over ritual for ancestors, according to Article 897 in the current Japanese Civil Code. Following the repatriation of UN DRIP, the United Nations declarations on the right of indigenous people by the Japanese government in 2007. The Ainu, one of the Japanese northern ethnic minority, began to promote the repatriation of human remains and burial materials. Meanwhile, the debate about the translocation of US military base in Okinawan prefecture, southern Japan, has evoked rising local Ryukyuan nationalism from 2008, when the Japanese government adopted resolution recognizing the Ainu population. A plenary session during in the UN forum, a representative Japanese mission stated that the government respect Okinawa's cultures and traditions, but also stated that there is no widespread understanding in Japan that the people, Okin the people of Okinawa are indigenous people, end of quote. In this context, the Ryukyuan activists have, have adopted the Ainu strategies demanding the repatriation of human remains. Uh, second section, Ryukyuan story of bomb. For the sake of our argument, let us take some stories about repatriation of bonds in Okinawa prefecture. In Ryukyu, name of kingdom, the authentic name of southern prefecture of Okinawa, or the repatriation movement developed among a different path to the Ain. Ryukyuan intellectuals have tended to think that the Japanese central government has discriminated against their people since the settlement of the domination of the Ryukyu domain, domain in 1972 and the founding 
of the Okinawa Prefecture in 1879. From 1945, it is thought that Ryukyu was placed under colonial rule by the Japanese central government, which permitted the Allied forces, chiefly the U.S. Army, to exercise trusteeship domination of the territory of their territory. The Ryukyu trustees government ended in 1972. Due to this trend, the settlement of Okinawa prefecture could be interpreted as a continuation of colonial domination. Even today, almost 80% of U.S. forces military bases are located in Okinawa prefecture. After the 1995 Okinawa 20 years girl rape incident, it can be said that the Ryukyu independent movement had been created. One of the most powerful intellectuals of Ryukyu independent movements, Professor Yasukazu Matsushima, a Ryukyuan of Ryukoku University in Kyoto, organized the Association of the Indigenous People of Ryukyu. He has published several books on the colonial history of Ryukyu and the possibility of her independence. When he was conducting his research, he knew that the famous Japanese anatomist, Dr. Takeo Hanazeki, former professor of Taipei Imperial University, had brave loved over 50 bodies from the royal tombs of Momojana Nakijin from 1928 to 29. These bodies have remained in storage at both in Taiwan National University and in Kyoto University, former Kyoto Imperial University. However, 63, uh, sorry, uh, 63, yes, 63 remains at the Taiwan National University were repatriated to the Okinawa Prefecture Center for the Burial Culture Properties in March 2019. Even though Professor Matsushima had requested Kyoto University to disclose historical information about the stealing process and the repatriate the bodies, he had he and the uh, descendant of the royal family brought uh, the case before the Kyoto District Court at the end of 2000. 18. In this case, Professor Matsushima is the representative of plaintiff and the Kyoto University, whose president is Dr. Juichi Yamagiwa, a worldly famous primatologist of gorillas in Africa, uh, takes defendant side. Slide appear Momojana or Mumujana uh, sceneries. In his several lectures, uh, meeting for both academics and civil activists, Professor Matsushima had repeatedly associated stealing human remains is criminal in our common sense, not only for the Ryukyuan, but also for all the Japanese, end of quote. In the same period, some members of the Anthropological Society of Nippon, specialist group of physical anthropology in Japan, have organized open session for the Japanese audience to discuss the importance of their studies that means the object of both the Ainu and the ancient German peoples of uh, 
16,000 to 3,000 before present by using human remains, including both Ainu and Ryukyuan people. However, on July 2019, the president, uh, Dr. Kenichi Shinoda, wrote the letter to the president of Kyoto University, Dr. Yamagiwa, uh, not to hear plaintiff voice and request. Dr. Shinoda quoted that, uh, the quotations. For the sake of maintenance and the inheritance of the human remains, the Anthropological Society of Nippon think following three principles mentioned below. One, all the human remains are cultural properties and national heritage that have own purposes for the scientific studies. Two, second, in case of necessity, the organization which uh, maintain, uh, which maintains all the human remains should discuss the, met uh, the method for proper maintenance by holding councils with local government organizations that are only representative of specimens of origin. Third, in case of transferring human remains, the uh, applicable organizations should inherit specimens for the scientific purposes and mentioned to offering for continuous opportunities for all kinds of studies, end of quote. Dr. Shinoda's statement seemed to be very nervous by repatriating uh, the human remains of the uh, Kiyono's collections that have Kanazeki had once collaborated to correct human remains from both Amami and Ryukyu Islands. The Ryukyuan's case was obviously inspired by the Ainu movement. Professor Matsushima has traveled to Hokkaido to meet the Ainu repatriation movement activists prior to his own crime activities. Professor Matsushima and the dis descendant of the royal family of Momojana have officially requ requested the prefecture, prefecture government of Okinawa to perform a reburial of returned remained with Ryukyuan traditional funerals in March 2019. Until, yet until today, the prefecture government has refused their request. The officials of Okinawa prefecture government have announced that these human remains would be transferred from cardboard wooden boxes to wooden boxes and kept conformedly in air-conditioned store rooms because of just return from abroad Taiwan. On the other hand, Professor Matsushima had also deeply concerned the possibility that prefecture government could use the remains of for DNA test without informed consent of the defendant royal family. Three, three quest for the harmony between plaintiff and the defendant. In both the Ainu and the Dukian repatriation cases, indigenous people have taken the plaintiff side and the defendant uh, local and central government and national university. The reason why government is potentially at fault is a lack of legislation governing act by of repatriation in Japan. Without legislation, the Japanese government can also can always take a makeshift administrative uh, respite in legal conformity with the person who custom dictate shall preside over richer poor ancestors of the civil code of Japan rather than legislation 
uh, stipulating the collective rights of indigenous right. Many of in intellectuals of the Ainu and Ryukyuan have sought positive solution to repatriation issue by referring to the National American Great Protections and the Repatriation Act Nagupura enacted in 1990s in the United States. Movements have expressed their support for Nagupura as a progressive solutions to dispute between indigenous people and their former oppressor. They want repatriation registration in Japan like Nagupura of the US. Actually, our government lack any consciousness of the rights of Japan's indigenous people and has not had any dialogue with indigenous people. The real problem is also the lack of imagination in Japanese social scientists. Despite our academic tradition of cultural anthropology, we have not taken the plaintiff's side because almost all Japanese anthropologists receive grants from government and quasi-governmental agencies. Until today, the majority have take, uh, taken the defendant's side in repatriation cases with the rare exception of those anthropologists who have been trained by indigenous leaders. We do not have indigenous studies by their own. Conclusion. From the perspective of LC, ethical, legal, and social implications, my conclusion is that the progressive repatriation request of indigenous people involve not only returning object, but also their recovery from violent colonial traumatic memories, which requires a sense of homecoming uh, to the time that place of origin. We need more examine the afterlife of human being and the belongings in the context of our not passing away colonial memories. The Ryukyuans, Okinawans people, and other Japanese ought to reconfigure for the uh, consensus of repatriation of human remains that could be returned to the certain time and space. That means the conciliation between plaintiff and defendant. How do cultural anthropologists engage with dialogue between the plaintiff and the defendant in our future? This paper is dedicated to Dr. Enrique Alberto uh, Servin, a Mexican linguist, and su memoria de su lingüista de las lenguas indígenas. Enrique Alberto Servin era profesor y funcionario de la Secretaría de la Cur de Cultura de Chihuahua. Fue hallado muerto dentro de su domicilio in the city of Chihuahua, Jueves 10 de octubre 2019, citado desde uh, la izquierda diario. Final of this presentation, you can scan this QR code, my web pages of this information. Thank you for your attention.